<laughs> All right. Now, we're here at... This is Old Glory Holly Davidson. And who am I speaking with today? This is Gene, Gene Rice, one of the assistant sales managers. Assistant sales manager. All right. Now, I am not in the market at the moment to buy a new bike. Now, I do have to say out of the new 2023s, they happen to have a bike, which I wish they'd have had when I bought my last bike. It's not with the tour pack, but Rogue Glide front end on a trike. Okay. Have you seen that yet? Yes, sir. This is called the Rogue Glide 3. Rogue Glide 3. Now, as a sales manager, assistant sales manager, I'll just say sales manager because it sounds better for you. What would you have to do to get someone onto one of those? Um, first things first, I would have to get them into the dealership. <laughs> That's paramount. <laughs> then after that, make sure that they have their endorsement, their motorcycle license. And after that, we sign a waiver and we get them on the road. Okay. Now, I believe it's only coming in like three colors, right? Yes, sir. The something blue, uh, billiard, billiard blue. Billiard blue. Uh, it looked like a black one, and Vivid I can't remember black. the other one. Vivid black and the other color is, I believe, uh, Alice Silver. Alice. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, that, it was the ugly one. That's why I couldn't remember it. Okay, yes, no offense for people who like that color, just not my taste. All right, now, reason I wanted you sitting on one, outside of the fact that it's got two more wheels in the back, or one more wheel in the back, actually, what's the difference? Well, the difference is going to be the suspension. You're going to make wider turns on this Road Glide 3. Um, it's going to be heavier by about 200 pounds. So it's only 200 pounds heavier, unlike mine, which is like 400 pounds heavier. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. So basically from the front back is exactly the same? Exactly the same. So it... let's say we put a roll glass firing onto a three wheeler. Right, but doesn't that mean that it has a 3% camber in the front to give it better turn radius? Wow, yeah, that is correct. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> Excellent. All right. If I'm not mistaken, it doesn't come with the uh, whim. Is it harder to put the whim in it than it is a standard? Now, that's a good question. It shouldn't be because of the firing and everything is still the same. That hasn't changed. Okay. Because I... I know on my bike, it was an hour and a half, but I don't know how much it would be on this. God knows it should be about the same, but yeah. it is slightly different setup. So I, I've never taken the front of one of these off, so I don't know. Right. Now, Gene, how long have you worked for Harley Davidson? Two years. Two years. Yes, sir. I'm assuming, because I've known you for almost two years, that it's been at this dealership. Yes, sir. What'd you do before Harley Davidson? I sold luxury appliances. <laughs> <laughs> okay i don't take it wrong you do not look like the type of person who i would picture in a luxury appliance dealership you seem too world known because you enjoy bikes a lot so my passion for a bike started when i worked here believe it or not didn't know a thing about it like seriously i this is like my passion now but i'm a late bloomer so hey there's nothing wrong with that now what motorcycle is your favorite motorcycle? The Road King. The Road King, why? Because of the ride, because it's less heavier than one of these, because I don't want to co concentrate on, you know, the GPS and the Bluetooth. I just want to strip down, you know, bagger. That's just my, you know, preference. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. For years, I was on a VTX. Wow. 14 years. <laughs> wow. VTX. It was a nice bike, and it's a stripped-down bike. I know. All right. Well, Gene, thank you very much. Always a pleasure, Dave. Hey, you have a good one. You too. How are you doing today? Oh, man, I'm alive. You know I love it. Hey, that's okay. Now, you haven't bought a bike yet, but that's because you bought a new car. Yes, sir. But you're able to ride pretty much any bike you want. Any bike I want. Now, what is your favorite bike that they have here currently? Mm, that's tough. Um... 
Lowrider ST. Lowrider ST. Ooh, That's got some good power, the 117 engine. Yes, sir. Now, have you seen on a trike, mainly because I'm on a trike myself, yes, and I do love the trike. I've put some huge miles on it. Now, if I could afford an ST as a backup bike, I would love that. Right. What's your favorite thing about the ST? The fairing. The fairing, why? Puts it on a soft tail. Puts so it, it on a soft tail. In between, so you still get that big 117 Milwaukee motor, but you still get that fairing. So it kind of feels like you're on a road glide, but it doesn't because it's not a road glide fairing. No. Nope. Now, that fairing has the weird front end. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what the weird difference is in that fairing compared to any other fairing that Harley has? Mm, it deflects the wind and shoots it over you. So, shoots it over you, but doesn't also have two big gaps that shoot it toward you yes. so in the summertime it'll keep you and the engine cooler yes, sir. do you think that was mechanically thought up instead of just having it blocked off i think it was mechanically thought up. why do you think they did that um honestly i don't know what they goes on in their head honestly but i think they did think that of the engine real fast because it's that 117 it's a 117 with a what with a uh with a breather with the breather so it wants more air, air. so they're shoving more air down there yes, and the engine on a 117 for that bike gets a lot hotter than yep. the 114 yep. and they know gentlemen like us may extend the range of what speed limit is just a little bit just a touch yeah. now on that bike did you notice when you're going around a corner at speed you can actually take it at full speed yeah that's why I like you can whip it around, man. That's the favorite thing. Oh yeah, and it weighs like nothing. So I have a question for you. Okay. Let's switch it up a little bit. What do you think about the Rogue Glide Three? I want one. <laughs> if you look, if you were watching my Instagram when it came out, I shoved a picture out on it, and I said I'd ask my wife, "Hey, can we?" Ch Her exact <laughs> words were, "No, you just bought a bike, and ah. we just did a lot of work on that. You ain't buying another one right now." But if you could. Well, Oh, if I could, I'd get on one right now because I love the shark nose front end. Right. I love that look. Mm -hmm. I'd be able to put a scoop on the back. I'd be able to put a little more power into it. I know I can do a stage two. Hell, I can do a stage three on mine, right. but they're having to look because they don't know if I can do a 131 on mine. Okay. So there's all kinds of stuff. But yes, it is a beautiful bike. Um, I talked with Gene recently. Right. Now, what color is your favorite? The blue. The blue. Mine too. I love it. <laughs> I'm sitting there. I couldn't think of the word billiard. Yeah. Because I keep wanting to say pool ball. Right. But it's like, no, it's billiard ball, which is different. Now, this is for my fans, anybody who's watching. What's the difference between billiard and pool? Please put your comment in the bottom. Have Those of us... Those of us who have been in England, we know there's a big difference. All right, two-tone, yes, thank it's you very much. Of course, buddy.